A voice inside your head compels you to get inside the machine. Oh, jeez. This is... This is not gonna end well, is it? Wait! Don't get inside! That machine! I see the look of confusion on your face. I was once a regular trainer, like you. Like you, I came here to train my Pokémon and was compelled to get inside this tank. I got in and fell unconscious, but I woke up and noticed that my body was that of a Nurse Joy's. I quickly realized what was happening and busted myself out. Hey, while I'm here, I'll unlock this door for you. Oh, that door. Not the door to the machine? Ah! I don't trust this person at all. I feel like this is the real trap. And the machine is where we should go. But then again... Oh wait, we can't get in it. Oh. What the heck? What was the point of all of that? Are you kidding? <gasps> Gift Pokemon! Yes! We got a cursed Charmander. Not a fire Pokemon. We got an angry Squirtle. Probably a dragon type. And we've got a Repel running out. An electric Bulbasaur? Okay, well you already know which one I'm gonna go for. Because we have a dragon and we have an electric type. So, dead Charmander it is. I would do a poll, but like, oh. Oh, thankfully they put a PC right here. Like, we literally have Pokemon of the other two types. So, no poll for this one, all right? What am I even... Oh yeah, I do need to deposit. Pokemon, not an item. Oh my gosh. I've forgotten how to play this game. Fallen! You are officially dead, my dude, so... Goodbye. And... Dead Charmander it is! If anybody wants to nickname it though, hit me up. It's Delta Charmander, true. Yeah, it's literally the Delta Charmander from Insurgents. Ghost and fire. Wait, Fallen died? That's right, Liam. Fallen has fallen. All right. Let's step back out and down to Route 51, where we actually get another new encounter. I have Pokeballs, right? Yeah, I think I have Great Balls, so... Let's see what we get. Oh my god, I'm an idiot! The gameplay wasn't even on this whole time! <laughs> we get our redemption for Swinub! <laughs> oh my goodness, of course, of course. I should have just used, uh... <clears throat> Dragon Rage on it. I think now it might kill it, so I'm not gonna risk it. Oh wait, last time we accidentally killed it with Bill's Dragon Rage, right? Second time's the charm, right? Oh, it's got Endure! Okay, well now we definitely can't go for Dragon Rage, but we can Quick Attack it. <clears throat> Guessing it's Rock and Grass? Hmm. Let's find out. I can't believe that, dude. That whole time I was talking about Fuego Ghost. I wasn't even showing the screen. Uh, well, at least we got to see Swinup's type is just pure rock. Moss and sprouts grow in mats on its back. Its collections of rocks are thought to be its young. Ew. It's kind of gross, dude. So uh, I guess this is cross. <laughs> kind of funny, too, because it's female. Call it a cross dresser, I suppose. And we got more trainers. I probably should have sprayed repel, cause well, we don't have any repels actually. But uh, I feel like we can get way higher level encounters if we just spray a repel and keep like a kind of low-ish level Pokemon. Uh, we can kind of like manipulate our encounter to be higher level, so we don't have to train as hard. Use Ditto now! Oh, true! We caught Ditto, too! I forgot! Well, actually, I believe Scizor 
in this game is... Wait, is it fighting type? Oh my god. No, 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 no. I was about to, to do Fuegos was about to die and already the prediction is going. So from here on out, if a Pokemon dies, it's fair game, guys. What am I even... I don't even know who to go for, dude. I guess Tweaky? <laughs> yeah, there's the Mach Punch coming straight at him. So Fuegos, even though its name was an excellent pun, it is not even actually a ghost. It's a fire and dark type Charmander. I know I didn't show the screen, but like, I said it, and and I wouldn't lie about these types of things, alright? I don't want my Pokemon's dines here. Alright, well, uh, we still don't have a PC here, unfortunately, so I can't replace Fuegos with uh, Magnemite just yet. I would love to go grab, I mean, ditto, the Magnemite. Yeah, that's definitely not going to get confusing at all. Oh, I thought it was a dead end. I thought these were trees, but it's just grass. These battles, man, they're getting hectic, though. Do I even want to train up Fuegos? I don't think so. I feel like I should train up Laffy Taffy instead. Since the next gym is fighting, you know, a ghost at least won't be able to get hit there. But, like, it won't really be able to do much damage to them, either. And, of course, you've got Dragon Rage. The bet is not lost yet, alright? The bet ends after the fifth gym. So if no Pokemon die after I beat the fifth gym, then whoever voted that none of my Pokemon die win the bet. All the people that voted that, I mean. Please tell me your normal type. Okay, I think it is actually. Or at least a double kick did enough. Wasn't even super effective, dude. Nothing is super effective anymore. I don't... What are these Pokemon? What are any of these Pokemon? We got a Tauros coming out. Obviously, that ain't no normal Tauros or... Maybe it is. Dude's looking straight up like a boat a lot. What? Looking funky. It actually fits in pretty well with the music we've got going in the background. That's a that's a quite a funky Tauros. And Arcanine. Oh, wait a minute. Is this thing rock? Or wait, not rock. Uh, ice type. Oh my god, it's ice type! Tweaky! Tweaky, no! Okay, Tweaky, you're fine. Our speed fell, though. I mean, we're already slower than it, but that means the Ancient Power is super effective. But can we survive another Icy Wind? Do I even want to risk it? Hell nah, dude. I'm going into Dave. Even though I think this thing actually has fire moves, too. Uh, Let's go for Thunder Punch. Okay, we're actually faster. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> we ain't risking anything today. How many more trainers are there in this route? Okay, there can't be any more because there's ledges leading down. All right, we survived <laughs> that crazy new area. Like two new towns and three new routes, I think. We got some good new encounters. I think... Uh, I might just have a heart attack, dude. All right, so we're gonna take on Cyanwood Gym today. But before any of that, uh, I wanna get another black market Pokemon. And I somehow have been forgetting this whole playthrough that we have TMs, dude. So we could have had Dig on Tweaky this whole time, or at least I think he can learn it. Yes, he can. So can Fuegost. But I feel like it'd be better on Tweaky since he's ground type. Oh my god, we had Shadow Ball this whole time too. Which would probably be really good on Laffy Taffy. But Laffy Taffy's kind of low level. So I might wait until maybe she becomes Ampharos uh, to teach her that. What else do we got? Nightmare? The Sleeper loses a- okay, well that, uh, that's not that good compared to the other ones we just saw. But yeah, let's go get this... Uh, Black Market Pokemon first. So far we've gotten a Caterpie, a Weedle, and that's it. Just the worst Pokemon ever. But maybe third time's the charm for only 5k. Oh my god, wait. I don't have space in my... And... Nidoran! <laughs> I mean, that's not as bad as, like, the Weedle and Caterpie, but I don't even- what type even is it? I guess that's what it really depends on. We also have a couple of name requests. Oh yeah, there was Cross. No, we already named something Cross, didn't we? 
Eclipse. Well, this nickname will either be super fitting or not fitting at all, depending on what this Nidoran male's type is. Let's go for it. And... Steel Electric! <laughs> totally not fitting. Wait, isn't there a name raider nearby? We could just switch up the nicknames. Maybe this. What nickname would fit for this guy? I don't know. Let's get a little recap of the Pokemon we've actually caught in the last few episodes, other than Eclipse, which I think is actually the same type as Dave, so we're definitely not adding that to the team. We got Cross the Swinub, Ditto the Magnemite, which is actually Psychic type. So this might be the one most worth training for the gym. Uh, there's also... Wait, where did everybody else go? Didn't we just catch Eclipse and Fuegos? So Fuegos, you're gonna be Fuegul. I don't even think I should train Charmander yet though. Honestly, I'm gonna keep Charmander in the PC for a uh, rainy day in case we end up losing a bunch of Pokemon. And I'm gonna grab Ditto instead. Oh wait, I should just do the nicknames real quick. All right, this is still from the same person too that suggested the Fuegos name, so even more fitting. We got Fuegul, but I don't think I'm actually going to train him because the next gym is fighting type and he's a dark type, so that would not be good at all. That Diglett though, <laughs> wait, was I showing the Diglett earlier? It is quite weird looking. Fudrucker, I think it was called. Fudrocker. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely one of the weirder ones. And then our fallen heroes, Joe and Sog, dude. And then the third death, where is it at? Fallen! How could we do this to you? But we're gonna grab Ditto out of here, and that's gonna be our new team member. Officially unofficial. Definitely gotta train it up, but the fact that it is a psychic type means it might be pretty helpful against the next gym. We're finally going to the next gym, or not, because look, there's a traitor too. Look, it doesn't matter what I do, something's gonna stop us. And of course, I forgot to buy healing items. So uh, this is, might not end well. Oh, look at the little Pikachu. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so cute, dude. The Hamtaro Pikachu. Is it actually normal type? Oh, it's ice. No, maybe it is normal, but it had powder snow. And now I kind of wish that we had Fuego or Fuegul because he'd be super effective right now. Well, if it is an ice type, I, I don't know. I don't know what the heck type that little thing is. I just know it's freaking cute, man. But what I do know is we've got Ditto. And I definitely want to train it for the next gym since it's a psychic type. So let's do that. Oh, another doppelganger. Oh, gosh. <laughs> you ever heard, like, apparently if you meet your doppelganger in real life, uh, it brings, like, bad luck. I don't know if anything actually happens, like, you know, it's not that crazy, like, you're not gonna die. Maybe. Bad luck could mean that you die, I don't, I don't know. Why? You're using so many double teams! <laughs> and she had another Pikachu, I just realized. Got a bunch of Pikachu fans out here. Oh, we actually haven't got an encounter in this route yet, either. So, should I? I still don't have repels, either. I think I'm gonna save it for later. Because I've been saying how if I spray a Repel and put a kind of high-ish level Pokemon up first, we might encounter something still through the Repel that's like higher level. Oh my god, what? What is this shelter? Wait, it just hit us with something super effective, but I didn't even pay attention to what it was. I, I guess it doesn't matter. We got the crit, but here we are in Olivine. Which is actually not where the next gym is, but we do have our rival! You again! There's no need to panic. I don't bother with wimps like... Excuse me. Who was the one that got their ass kicked last time we fought? Oh, that's right. The worthless red-haired man in front of me. You see these buns? You see these Chun-Li ponytails? That is far from worthless, my man. I don't know what you're talking about. 
The sea is sweet, sunsets on the sea are marvelous. Oh, sing with me, yes, blow down the blow hole. Okay, we're gonna do the lighthouse first because I really want to train up Ditto. Um, I should actually check what level Ditto evolves at. And wait, don't we need Surf? Oh wait, what? There's another new area down here. No way. What is this? This definitely wasn't in gold and silver, right? How many rods you got? Different rods catch it. Okay, are you gonna give me one or what? It's like a dock, but no SSN. This looks familiar. This isn't new. Was this really in crystal? It was in gold, silver, and crystal, really? I I guess maybe like later on post game, we might be able to take that dock somewhere. It looks familiar, but I don't remember exactly what it is or where it takes you. What the heck? <laughs> that guy actually just gave us strength, dude. I had a hunch, but like, I didn't think he would actually be the one. Kimono girls, that's right. So we gotta head back to Olivine. Or Ecruteague. Oh my god, I'm getting all my city names mixed up, man. First, we're gonna take on the lighthouse because... Might as well. Are, you're not even a trainer? Yeah, I'm trying to train, dude. Like, what's going on? You ain't got no exclamation mark. And I think we also get a new encounter here, don't we? Or they're not wild Pokemon. I don't know, dude. I apparently forgot everything about gold and silver. Listen, I'm, all, I'm a little bit of a zoomer when it comes to Gen 1 and 2. Gen 3 was really when I started playing Pokemon, seriously. So ask me anything about Gen 3 onward. I got you. But Gen 2 and 1... I don't know. Crap, dude. Oh, another doppelganger. But who's the real ball? Oh, I thought the game just glitched, dude. Oh, my God. We got a rare candy. I think that's the first one that we've gotten. And apparently there's no items. Or not items. There's no uh, wild Pokemon. I thought for some reason the lighthouse had wild Pokemon in it. Oh, jeez. I believe this should be the final salty sailor here. Please, Ditto, get a move already. Like anything, dog. I just need you to hit the enemy. Uh. Oh, my. Okay. Okay, man, relax. I'll... <laughs> I thought I disguised myself pretty well, but he saw right through it. He knew we were no item, and what? Hold up, hold up. That is literally just a Machop. Wearing a scuba snorkel. Like, did, <laughs> did they even try with this one? Or maybe that's just, that's, honestly? That's pretty funny in itself. The fact that it's literally just Machop with a snorkel. I love it. What else you got, Ernest? Oh, more Machops with snorkels. We're not even underwater, though. What are you guys snorkeling from? Oh my gosh, that's a scary looking Kabuto. I think we actually saw a little preview of one, like way back at the beginning of the game, there was a, like a puzzle that we had to solve and it was Kabuto. Scoop the potion. Gotta catch him all, McDonald's. Corsi? Oh my god, it's a Corsola now. That looks nothing like a Corsola. What are you talking about? Does that mean Corsola is a steel type in this game? Gotta get some medicine. All right, so next stop is Ecruteak because we got to get the... Uh, oh, there's another item over there, actually. How do we get to that one? We just gotta fall? This way, maybe? Oh, it's literally right here. TM34! I am so lost right now, dude. Of course, I'm back up where Jasmine is. Okay, I'm pretty sure if we just keep heading straight down, yeah, it'll lead us right out of the lighthouse. And... Back to Olivine. So we gotta go to Ecruteak. Take on the Kimono Girls to get Surf. And with that, we can go to Cyanwood. Which is where we get the medicine, of course. Let's go! Kimono Girl! 
battles. What? You actually battle all of them right now? <gasps> that means we're going to see all the different evolutions at level 17. I am so used to Heart Gold, man. In Heart Gold, you don't get to fight all the Kimono Girls until later on, I believe. Instead, you fight like a Team Rocket Grunt, I'm pretty sure. The first time around, at least. And then later on, you know, you fight the Kimono Girls. But here in Fool's Gold, right off the bat, we got every single evolution, including the Bog Espeon. And I totally forgot that we actually taught Laffy Taffy Shadow Ball, so I don't know why I was still going for Nightshade. Apparently even Shadow Ball is not enough to one-shot it, though. Alright, alright. So that's two down. SB on, more like. I see you, Blob Rex. Hey. Always appreciate a good pun. Or a bad pun, you know? I welcome all puns, to be honest. We got Umbreon. Which I think is actually a mummy in this one. Is it a ghost? Oh, it probably is. Oh my god. Imagine we weren't faster. I mean, we're so many levels ahead, dude. There's no way that we would have been slower than it. But like, if we weren't by the off chance, that could have actually been the death right there. I don't want it. No one wants to see that. What do we got next? Vaporeon? Yes, the steel type Vaporeon. Which means Ghost is actually not very effective, right? Uh, let's go for Bully. Yo, have a good night, Zelda Master 4. I hope, I wish you luck with finding 2 and 3. And 1, apparently. He's been gone for a little bit. I hope he comes back soon. I miss that, man. Finally, we've got Jolteon. Yes. I swear there was another evolution. No, we did fight five of them already. Never mind. So, wait, this is Steel type. What the heck was that Vaporeon then? Was that actually an Ice Vaporeon? I, I think it was. I remember, like, a couple episodes ago, we checked out all the evolutions, and yeah. I guess that was actually Ice. This was a Steel Jolteon. Well, all of them are done for, which means we can get ourselves any second now. Any second. Hey, the HMO3. Surf's up, my dudes. Do we actually have anyone that can surf for us, though? I didn't even think about that, actually. I'm pretty sure if we don't then nuzlocke rules should somehow allow us to catch a pokemon that can yeah we don't have anybody that can surf not even ditto come on dude is there a pc in here oh my god we're at the bottle tower all of a sudden no, i don't want to do that let's go back here i'm pretty sure we should have like some pokemon that can surf in here uh any water types of course not. Of course not. Come on, man. So, we're going to grab the good rod from this man. And we're going to do some fishing. Actually, we get two encounters technically because there's this... Well, there's Olivine City itself. Where I'm, I'm pretty sure... <gasps> Wait, what's happening? Oh my god. How does fishing work in this game? Oh, well, I've reeled something in. <laughs> I kind of just spammed the A button there. Not going to lie, guys. And we've got... A shelter. Still don't know what the heck this thing is. Fighting type? Steel type? I just hope that I don't kill it in one hit. Well, Nightshade does damage on level, so it definitely has more than 26 health. Not that much more, though. Oh, it might actually be a fighting type. Judging by the uh, karate chop it keeps using. And we got it paralyzed, so it should be a lot easier to catch now. Go! Is Laffy Taffy shiny? Yes, it is. A beautiful yellow Laffy Taffy. We got the shelter, boys. La Muerte. I like that name. It would definitely fit more for like a ghost or a dark type. But like, death could be around any corner in this game. La Muerte means death. 
the death in Spanish. So, cool. Uh, let's heal it up. And hopefully it can learn Surf, dude. I swear, if this thing can't learn Surf, then I don't know what will. Oh, thank goodness, Shelter. I love you. We're finally on our way, dude. Oh, what? What is happening? What? what? There's no Surf animation? There's no, like... Don't you usually hop up on, like, a little Whalmer? Or something? Just nothing in this game. We're Jesus himself. <laughs> Oh my god. All right, Boutique. Relax. I I, I want to hear this music. This is amazing. Well, no, not this music. I wanted to hear the surfing music, actually. So, oh. Oh, there we go. We got Tentacool, which I think is actually Water and Ghost in this game. Water Psychic. Oh, that might actually be pretty sick for the gym. But... It's kind of low level, so... Damn it, I keep forgetting. I keep saying I want to spray repel so I can get a higher level encounter. If anything, this should have been La Muerte. This is a much fitting name for this terrifying creature. Oh my... Porygon 2! Because <laughs> one wasn't enough. He went and evolved into an actual duck. That's amazing. As I was saying though, uh, I'm not gonna get into the debate on whether or not Smash Bros is a party game, but apparently Sakurai created Kirby. So that makes sense actually. But Kirby Air Ride is like a like the Mario Kart of Kirby, right? Except you're riding on stars instead. Oh my god, wild tentacruel? This is what I'm saying, guys. We could have had a wild tentacruel instead. Just already caught in its evolved form. It would have been so much better against the gym. If I would have just like sprayed a repel, we probably would have found it in the wild. Earth power? Why are you learning earth? What the heck? I mean, we can always get Shadow Ball back as a TM. Should I get rid of Lick though? Lick is pretty helpful for catching Pokemon, but so is Dragon Breath, so F it. We got earth power now. Kirby Sakurai's baby. That's why he survived Gleam's attack. Oh, was that in the intro of uh, the World of Light? Or wait, are we thinking of something different? I'm pretty sure Kirby's the one that survives the World of Light, right? At the beginning. He also revamped Kid Icarus, the absolute mad lad. I think I played that one actually, Kid Icarus Uprising on 3DS, but I never beat it. I don't know, I never really had much of an attachment to the Kid Icarus franchise, I guess, because I never played it as a kid. But then again, a lot of people didn't, because wasn't Kid Icarus, like, back on the original NES or SNES? Like, it was a pretty old game. The revamp... I'm assuming a lot more people have played the revamp than the OG. Is this in Professor's Aid? No, just a guy with glasses, I guess. With a lot to say. That was a lot of... Wait, am I literally him? Oh my god, how many times is this gonna happen, dude? How many times am I literally gonna be the guy that we talked to? Are you kidding me? We gotta do some training, guys. I know it's not the best thing to watch, but with speed up, it ain't so bad, I promise. As long as we don't end up uh, not being able to run away from one of these wild Pokemon, that would certainly suck. A few inches later, I feel like Flappy's gonna carry the gym. I hope so. I think it's actually pretty close to evolving, too. So if we don't get La Muerte to evolve, we might still get at least Ampharos. Let me see, what level... I'm pretty sure Ampharos evolves at 30. <gasps> what did I even die to, dude? Every time! No, the berries! Not the berries, bro! It's always Pursuit! It's always freaking Pursuit, man! Come on! Why? Why is it always... No! Can we get the sad music, please? We have lost yet another homie 
that I was trying to train for the gym. It's always when I'm trying to train Pokemon, dude. Or well, at least in these past few episodes, which means the prediction goes to the people that said yes, 54%. So the majority wins. I don't even know, how do I close outcome, choose outcome. Yes, we lost a Pokemon tonight. Enjoy your payout, guys. I swear, if we lose Laffy Taffy right before the fighting gym. Okay. I I might have just rage quit. Not gonna lie. I, I, don't, I don't know what I would have done exactly. But all I know is Laffy Taffy still doesn't have enough experience to evolve. And this emotional song apparently has no end. But... There we go! Laffy Taffy is evolving! How are you still going, Song? Stop! Yes! The Red Ampharos! That is literally the omen of death right there, dude. La Muerte brought, about, brought this about. Look at this absolute terror. This nightmare of a creature.